hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we are going to start with our old project that is our bank management system so till now what we have done is we have created some windows and we have added buttons into it like create button like for creating account view account withdraw money deposit money about us etc right now we have work upon our create account button whatever we will be entering over here like i'm just saying my name that is bot and we are going to say account number that is 100 or anything you want to give account money we will just say 100 rupees and i will say my address is india and then i'll just say my contact number is one of account contact it's the same like we have to say just contact number of us that 992 this you can see right and then we are going to say our date of birth that is 15 to anything you want to say and then we just say date of joining right this one one or one anything you say and you just say add account and here it says that don't forget your account number because we are going to use the same account number or account id to use it on our view account button or withdraw money or we can use it in our deposit money right so i'll just close it and whatever we, we store our data it will be stored in a file that is our database file and we can use uh, or open this database file using our db browser for sqlite right so you can just go and download it i have just explained it in my first video so over here you can see that we have a table right we open it and we will just say uh, browse data and you can see over here I have so much of data this is the latest one that is our bot and india 92261 and our account doj is 114 and account dob is 15 to 200 right so now we are going to work upon our view button right so for viewing button we need a window so we are just going to create a new file that is called as view like we'll just say view view account right and then we'll say python right so it's a py we'll just enter it and it's open right but now what we need is another file to like you know fetch the account number from our database so for that we are going to say another file that is account num.py okay so basically what this uh account num.py will uh, be used for is that we can fetch the account number from our database of a specific data member right like if you want to uh, fetch the data for our fourth number bot so it will just say that uh, account number is this right so we are going to enter this account number and it will fetch all the data of the that Data, right we will just start with we will say from tk inter import star right and then we'll uh, go further and create a class now we'll say class account underscore num right we are just going to use our uh, opc need num right and then we are going to just say define in it and we are going to just pass one argument to self in it right and then we will set top level basically it is used to uh you know create a window inside a window in it sorry in it and we are going to pass an argument itself the self in it and then we are going to uh, make a window so basically So yeah what i've done is i've just cropped over time i've created a title means i've named the window of a title and config it's like a background geometry 22 to send it will be a small window just asking for our account number right and then we will just say the frame and everything else information needed for the title box and then we will just add a label account number and we will add a text field means entry field and then we'll add a button that is this submit button right and in that we are going to add a command that is self dot account ready so now now what we will do is we are just going to create a function named like uh, account ready so we'll just say def def account underscore id and then we are going to self like we are going to pass self on it and we are going to say account number so oh, sorry we are going to say account num and you will do self dot 
entry underscore account num dot get so what we will do it means what this line will do it will just get the information whatever it will be entered in our here over here right so whatever will be entered we are going to enter in this uh, entry field it, it will be just fetched over here and it will store in our account num variable right now we will use that variable to um, uh, pass this data so we'll just say in so we are we have to uh, pass this you know like uh, this data into our view account so we are just going to say c account we are going to use this variable in our near future account num right just now it's not uh, like you know here it will show error because we haven't created anything in our view account file right and now we'll just say self dot destroy now we are done with our account num file right so now we are going to start with our view account dot pipe right so for that we are just going to import uh tick enter right we are just going to import everything and then we'll just say import sqlite 3 right so we'll just sqlite 3 hmm. and then we'll say import sorry import date dat date type right because we are going to use it to like you know say store like we have to display right from tk enter import message box uh, basically we are going to import this message box to uh, so our messages now we are going to make a variable that is date right and then we will just say date time date time not date time dot now right it will basically fetch the date and time right now not date and this will say date equal to str date so we are using just one variable so that we can uh, manage our memory and we are going to uh, read that date, date uh, variable now we'll just say another con this is for our sqlite right so con is equal to sqlite 3 and in that we're just going to connect it to our co double connect with our database that is our database file right so that is database dot db right you can name anything but uh, you have to just change the name of the database file over here and then we'll just say curve is equal to con dot cursor so we are just basically creating a cursor right and in that we are going to create a windows right but for that we need a class c account and that we will just pass top level and then we will just say def underscore unit underscore underscore sorry unit in it in it right and then we are going to pass we are going to pass self comma account num so we are going to pass account num because we need over here right from here we need that account number to use in this file so now after editing over there we are going to uh, go further and just create the windows right so what we can do is we can just uh copy the window code from our create account folder from here we can just copy it over here right this whole code we are just going to copy we are not going to copy the functions but we are going to copy the labels and frames and everything over here right so guys we have created our view account file and in that I have just uh, created the main uh, means the window what we are going to show to our users, right? So here it is, and I'll just add our search icon and a label that is our account information and a label with name, and we are just pass a variable that is account name, account number for all of the uh, data which we have in, the, in our database. So now we have to work on this uh, data, right? Means this variable. For that, for that we are just going to say that. Uh, we are extracting data sorry data 
data getting right in that we are just going to say query we are going to run a query q u e r y query is equal to select star from account info where account underscore number is equal to blank right we are just going to say it like this hmm. right okay and now we are going to just close our uh, query and we are going to say format in that we are going to pass our account number right so here it's our account number file comes in the excel now whatever this file will return it will just uh, store it over here right now what we can do is uh, we can just say result the result we are going to just uh, pass our cursor.execute execute and we will, what we will execute is our query right so we'll just say query dot patch one like patch one and we'll just say uh, close the um, bracket and we are going to print it right so print basically what why we are printing is we, so we can just get over here in our terminal we we get to know that our code is working right if we don't use it in uh it's okay but just for our thing like just to be clear that our code is working we just print it right so it is result sorry result right now after it what we can do is we can uh, create a variable for everything that we have used over here that is account underscore num is equal to result of zero now for everything where uh, for every data like uh, for account name account number account money we are going to uh, make a variable over here like the same right yeah so i've created for all the things what we want uh, to do is account number result zero account name result one account money result two account address result three account contact result four it goes until how many data we have to add right so i'll just edit it over here so i'll just save it and now it's time to work on our main So we are just going to say from view view account import c account right over here we are going to add our command row button we just copy it over here we are going to add it over here just going to give it a comma and we'll just say c account something like that or view account you can say view account underscore account right now after saying that view account we are going to uh, create a view account over here so i'll just copy it and just say paste it over here right and we'll just say v underscore account and then also we are just going to say from account num we want to import like what we have created account num right now we will pass it in our over here we'll just say view ew view account and we are just going to just a second we'll just say view sorry view account and close it and we're just going to pass sorry just going to pass account number in it account number right so yeah we are done with our main folder but there is a error in our account number too so it won't work i think so okay so here you can see cannot import account name from account number so why is this happening let's see it right so we are just going to add our uh view account for uh file in our account num folder so we're just going to say from uh view account import c account right so it's all done right so now we will uh we have completed everything right so we'll just run it so there was small error which we have solved right so that is we have to just uh import our v account file over here in our account number file right so now we'll run it 
and see if it is working or not this is our break account it is working okay so there is a error over here so what it says that near account number it's a syntax error in uh 34 line 70 and everything else right so basically it's uh in this view account folder it is saying that there is some error over here in our account number right so you just uh passed account number over here we have imported over here means it will just pass it over here right so we are just our uh, cursor is now over here and when, whenever we will click it over here it will just uh pass it over here and uh, okay so here is our problem we don't have to uh call our v account we have to just say account number is equal to account number right we are passing account number in our view account function basically right so now we will save it and run it okay what's happening why it's not running oh here it is so here you can see a small window that is information needed and information needed we have to just account now uh, see our account number that is 1200 and we'll just submit it so you know there is no account that's why we'll just say 100 over here and then we'll submit it so you can see our account right so it's bought 100 100 india you can change these things so we what we have to do is we have to just uh say one thing over here <coughs> so here we can add a function that is a state is equal to disable from which you can disable all the <coughs> you know that you can disable these things i'll show it if you will just say our 100 and we'll just say submit and you can see over here it's bought and it's disabled over here that's why we can't say anything right so we'll just walk up on it what we have done is we have just disabled it very far so we just cancel it over from here and we'll paste it over here right after adding our data right so now it's disabled we can't add anything we can't change anything right so we'll just run our main file and we'll say account number is equal to 100 and we'll just submit so you can see the uh, account number is we can we just uh, like these functions uh, allow us to block the user to uh, like, you know like alter the data in our entry fields here we need to see the account right we don't have to alter it so we don't need our user to do anything with our data so we'll just disable it so user can't see it but user can't you know alter it so you can do it for the rest of all things right so we have created our view account button and in next video we are going to work on our deposit and withdraw account right thank you